What's going on everybody? Mortem here, this time taking Valentine's Day as an opportunity to show you all available romances in Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. To be clear, this is the romances for the entire game, not just the beta. However, two of them, Dayran and Queen Galfrey, are not in the beta. With that out of the way, let's jump into it and try to make this short and sweet. So first up, we have Lan, one of the mongrels that we meet at the beginning of the game. He is romanceable if you are a female character. Two, we have Windaug. Windaug, or however you pronounce that woman's name, is also one of the mongrels we meet with Lan at the beginning of the game, who has cat and spider-like appendages. She is an evil character who is interested in a strong commander period, regardless of if you are a female or a man. Then we have Camellia? Camellia? I don't know. She is a noble that lived in Canabras. She is a very sassy person, shall we say. So she is romanceable if you are a male character. Then we have Dayran, the neutral evil oracle character who is an ASMR that you can meet also in Canabras. He is also romanceable for male or female characters. Then we have Arushale, a succubus seeking redemption. And while she is while she is literally a succubus that can kill you with romance, she can in fact also be romanced by male or female characters, which I suppose makes sense for a succubus. And then we have Sociel. So Sociel is a cleric of Shaylin, the goddess of beauty, love, and art. He is himself an artist. You will find him painting rather often in your camp. And moreover, if you are a male character, you can choose to pursue a relationship with Sociel. And then we have the Kickstarter romance, Queen Galfrey. So you'll meet Queen Galfrey here and there throughout the story, of course. She is basically the one that puts you in charge of the crusade. And moreover, you will have the option to romance this woman, regardless of whether or not you are a male or female character. However, coincidentally, I just want to mention, this woman is well over 100 years old. She is being kept alive by a sun orchid elixir, which protects her youth so she can lead the Crusades. There you go, guys. Just a quick overview of who you can and can't romance in Pathfinder. So maybe start making your plans, I guess. Because we don't see all of these, I don't really have too much information on exactly how to romance each one of them yet. But there you go. There are the options. I certainly hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube jazz. But regardless, truly, thank you so much for watching. May you wander in wisdom and have an amazing day.